making hashi pomerche. Yay! Yeah. Doesn't it sound name. like yeah. something? What does it mean? It sounds French. mysterious, it right? Yeah, what is it? Pomerche, uh, Alex, why don't you give the pomerche history? Oh, no. I'll give the hashi. Auguste Pomerche discovered the potato. Hashi chopped or yep. ground yep, like meat, hash. And it's like a cottage pie. I only made this, learned this, and made this in kitchens when you were awesome. this person that had to staff meal. What does totally. that mean? Like every day, someone, and usually it's someone who has some dexterity in the kitchen, they don't give it to everybody, but there's probably five or six people that do staff meal. What does that mean? Like if you're Monday, you're doing it Monday. So on Saturday, you got to plan what you're going to do for the staff. And usually it's, you go into the walk-ins and you get all the scraps. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not buying anything. That key is- Perfect hash. You can't buy anything. Yeah. All right, so what do we have here? First of all, we have a cast iron pan, which I love to use simply because it's a one pan plan. Mm -hmm. When it goes on the table on a trivet, it stays warm the entire time. Mm -hmm. This must be warm to hot all the time. This is a leftoverish kind of dish, but I'm changing it just because I know Iris. This is for Iris, actually. Wow. <laughs> let's, let's, Everything let's in our honest. world is for Iris. She, let's we be can't honest. get Iris to eat vegetables. <laughs> so uh, I said it'll, it, just, it happens, but this is a good way. So in this, I have carrots, onions. Celery. I put some parsnip because it's sweet. Oh yeah. And I'm just sauteing this, really get it soft. And suddenly you're gonna do the potato. You're on the pomanchier side. Okay. So yeah. potatoes. Oh, I love potatoes. This is okay. One so of are my... we gonna do this first, yes. or do you so need your parsley first? Here we have the cooked potatoes. Yeah. Very, very soft. Nothing worse than an undercooked potato. You cannot, mm. you cannot cook Mash it medium it. rare and then cook it medium well. It, it, once it's not cooked, it stays it's over. not cooked. Okay. She's gonna do this in the yeah, food mill. Them. My fav. One of my favorite tools. I think this is one of those tools that it's so old, it's new. Mm -hmm. When you do tomato or a mm -hmm. puree of something, it really oh, gets all the essence out that. without emulsifying it. If you put it in a blender, it's a different mouthfeel. I love this. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get those in there hot. Yep, They're yep. going to stay warm, Steaming. and you're going to chop some parsley. Yes, chef. Over to my uh, beautiful veggies here. I have a little, some dry thyme, some fresh thyme. If you don't have this, you can use a ricer, too. I use a of ricer course. sometimes at home. But don't put it in a food no. processor. Don't do that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You have like rubber. wallpaper glue. Like, yeah. And some uh, tomato paste. So you use dried thyme yeah. and fresh thyme? Yeah. I mean, Double time. Double time. I like that, bro. You put garlic in there, too, I saw, I did. Jeff. A good okay. amount of garlic. And I, I usually, if I was making this a staff meal, I would put everything dried, because the key is not to spend money. So this is a dish of leftovers, and it's seriously leftovers, right? OK, to this, we're going to add our Beef. Ooh. This is, you know what this is, Jeff? Chuck, baby, Chuck. It's Chuck. It smells so good. There's not good enough right white now. dots in there. It feels like a 1585 yeah, situation. Maybe even a I don't know if that's Chuck. That's Chuck. That's Chuck. So, Ooh, how do you white. do this? I use the, another little tool. Oh, little potato. Oh, wow. Yes. I love the potato tool. You know how you're making sausage and you try to brown the sausage for the orecchiette with broccoli, Rob? You take it out of the skin, it's not cooperating because it's no. big nuggets. This is what I use. You know, it's like we all make shepherd's pie, cottage pie. It's time for the hashi's pomentier to have its moment. I think it yeah. is. I think yeah. it brought it to the surface. All right, so you see, it's not, this is really, this is a critical part. You've got to get color here. Gotta get you got to get the water out of the meat, and you got to get the flavor of everything. Now, I haven't put any salt in. Why is that, Jeff? Because you don't like salt anymore because of your heart condition. <laughs> because the, the beef won't brown as much if you put the salt yeah, in. Yeah, the first. moisture yes. comes out. Just like mushrooms, yeah. right? Uh, you got to make sure that you have some caramelization in The water's out. And once you see it starting and it's caramelizing, then at the very end, you, there's no reason to salt right now other than if you really wanted to salt onions to get the onion flavor out, to get that onion juice, that's OK. But this beef here is, is going to boil first, and then it's going to fry. Boy. So when you see steam, this is in smoke. This is steam. When you see that, you know it's nowhere near ready yet. We're going to add the red of wine. Now, she's saying, well, I can't serve that some Irish. She's three. No, you cook it off. You cook it out. Cooks off. At this point, we're going to have a little salt and pepper, not too much. We're going to continue simmering this down. So, potato time. Are you ready? Yes. Hot Whoa, potato. Hot potato, hot potato. A All little bit this? of butter. All of this? What? <laughs> two sticks? Yeah, yeah. Two sticks. Yeah. Fold it in, and I see more. Can you over work there, out? Too. It's okay. Yeah, fold it in and uh, salt wow. and pepper. Right now, yeah. the milk is on the side. It's warm. It Must be warm. But yeah. do not so. mistake is always putting so. milk in first is a mistake. You want me you to want everything to, at once? No, we want to put the fold the butter in first yeah. and mm -hmm. then everything else. Okay. You got to melt mm -hmm. that butter. Yes, you do. If mm -hmm. not, you will have a kind of a mess. You'll see in a minute. So I'm not going to put too much in unless I really need to. But I am going to add a few more ingredients. You might think that are a bit odd. Okay. It's good that you're holding back. I am yeah. holding yeah, back. I'm really right. proud of you. 
I'm holding back. And I'm going to put into this oh, sour cream, oh. a couple of egg yolks. Can I have there you go. Before? Just yeah, the yolks, right? You don't want the yolks. yolks. So the yolks will give it that nice color. And flavor and mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. By the way, sour cream mixed with egg yolks is actually called a liaison. A liaison. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. really important. You see what is critical. The butter's melted. How about some parsley? Why not? Zips Lots of it. Like How about some Parmesan cheese? It's pretty and darn now. good. Parmesan cheese. cheese. Yeah, I, yeah throw not? it in. We're going to save a little for something else, a little something, something at the end. Now, what do I have here? My meat into this red wine vinegar. No. It, it's really important to have a little acid in the hashy Parmentier because this is a rich dish. Now, are we ready for the combination? Yes. Yeah. I've been waiting. Wow. OK, so I have a little game. A variety of forms of cottage pies exist around the world. Yes. All right. So we are going to, you are going to identify the country of origin for the specific mm. dish okay. I'm giving you. Ooh, this All is Hashis and their cousins. OK. Hashis cousins. So this is So shepherd's fun. pie originates in what country? Ireland. England. England. I don't know, Scotland. Great Britain. Ireland, Britannia. right? Britannia. I say England. And the answer is Ireland. I yes. oh. like that makes it potatoes. Gotta have them spuds. That's the Hashi Queen over here. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. dish runs deep. OK, cottage pie. England. England? England. Scotland. Scotland. Mm. Cottage. England. England? I'll, I'll, I'll rock Scotland with you. The answer is England. Hey, that makes sense. I'm a hot sheet two for two. Yeah. Okay, an empadome. 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 Ooh, oh, that's empadome. Dome, dome, like spell it. Imp Mexico. Cor uh, China. Philippines. Is Can I change my answer to Ecuador? Argentina. Let's hear it. Yeah, Let's Argentina. hear Come on. it. Portugal. Oh, of course, Portugal. Oh, that was my third okay, one. I, like that I said that Tuesday. Okay, you see our, our potato? Yeah. I'm going to put some melted butter on top. Of course you oh. are. This is a low-calorie dish. And I'm going to sprinkle just a bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh. Sure. Do it. Wow. Well, the egg yolk, I mean, here you're really using the egg yolk so to bind the potatoes mm -hmm. and then make them more golden brown. Are you ready? Yeah, Iris is I'm hungry. Ready. Into a 375-degree oven. It's got to be at least 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And then in this cast iron thing, it is going to stay hot. It's going to be I, bubbling. Oh, my yes. goodness. OK, what do we have here? I'm already thinking, Jeffrey, for Iris, I might have to leave that parsley out because Ooh, she will be oh. some serious investigation. Wow. wow. Come on, now. Hashi parmi, whatever. Hashi parmi and There you go, Jeff. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Ooh. This is gorgeous. Jeez. You done with hashi P? You bring, it's a great you meal. You know me. I was going to say, this is like a dinner party worthy meal. Because you think, could put that out with a green salad and some Sunday. crusty bread, Sunday, and everybody would be thrilled. Freeze salad on Sunday? Oof. Oh, yeah. Sign you know, pain. And a great that bottle so of red bad. wine. You know okay. What, dare I say, this would be good for like game day stuff. Oh, yeah. It yeah, it's great. a good crowd pleaser. <gasps> Come that's, on now. That's the mountain climber version there. Oh, my there. heavens. Yeah. Look at that. There it that is. That is. Say magnifique. Mm -hmm. Oh, right oh, on top. Okay, there. Oh, okay, Keep right your top. top. Well, oh, that's how you do family meal. You this just is family meal. It's it no garnishing cuteness for the front of house. We mm. just trying to get it in. I want some of the like crusty bite of potato on top. Mm. It's like when you got the Michelin judges coming, and this is what you want to serve your crew. You know, they're gonna be uh, either that or energized maybe. and ready to go.